Hello everyone, welcome to part 3 of this e-workshop. Now we're going to learn how to create the slides for your content. We're going to look at how to create the slides for the causes of the real world problem. We're going to try a new topic. So this topic will be on fresh produce wastage. So this is the cover page, save the fruits and the flow of presentation will be using the same. And then let's go right into the content slides. So in the WR, this group has focused on fresh produce wastage in Singapore and they have highlighted three causes of fresh produce wastage. So there's things about short shelf life, cosmetic filtering, and the marketing strategies undertaken by various supermarkets that causes overbuying. We are going to show you how to translate this into a script and then into slides. We have highlighted that there are three causes of fresh produce wastage. So this is good for you to highlight it at the very start of your causes of RWP segment. So this is how the slide will look like. So similar to the floor presentation slide, here you'll introduce the three causes of fresh produce wastage. So you have cause number one, short shelf life, cause number two, cosmetic filtering, cause number three, marketing strategies. All of these pictures are taken from the free uh, image website. So this is taken from Unsplash. So in the WR, you highlighted the three causes. So then you convert this into a script. So the script might look something like this. So you ask the audience what may be causing this grave issue of rash produced wastage. There are three main culprits behind it. So this is where you introduce the slides. There are three main culprits behind it. Firstly, the highly perishable nature of fresh produce increases the chance of it being wasted. So this sentence will be used for this slide where you introduce the first cause. That's why you use the signposting firstly. And then you elaborate. So the second sentence, their short shelf lives mean that they must be consumed or refrigerated immediately after purchase. So this is when you go to the next slide, so you can see we showcase the refrigerated fresh produce and then you elaborate about how some consumers may forget to do so or store them wrongly and this is when you showcase the second slide where the fruits and vegetables are stored improperly so as you can see every one to two sentences will be tied to one slide so this introduces the three causes it introduces the first cause which is here this gives you an elaboration on the first cause. And finally, this further elaborates the first cause. Okay, so this is how you will probably arrange your content in a very systematic, organized and clear manner. Okay, before we go on to the slides, I just want to show you how there is a difference between the wording of the script and the wordings used in the WR. So this is the wordings used in the WR. So fresh produce has short shelf life and requires immediate refrigeration once ripened. You can read that this is very academic writing, right? This is not conversational writing. So notice how this paragraph is translated into something more conversational, something that's easier for the audience to understand. Rule of thumb, try not to use the language used in the WR. Rather, you translate the content into something more conversational. After that, you can easily translate the sentences here into visual form. So let's get started on learning how to create this particular slide right here. To create this slide, we're going to use some of the skills that we have learned from this slide. Okay. So the first thing that you do is to create the title. Copy and paste and the title here is causes of fresh produce wastage okay title is done okay next we have three causes right so okay even so we have three causes right so before we find the images we can just create circles so click on shape circle and as you draw the circle right as you create the circle press and hold shift on the keyboard and then you drag the mouse across so this way you will create a perfect circle rather than an oval okay once you're done copy paste and paste and then make sure the blue horizontal lines appear in between the circles that way the gaps are the same okay and then we centralize it there we go Okay, let's make this slightly smaller. Okay, 
Then next, we have to create the text at the bottom, right? So, so refer to the WR in order for you to figure out what are the three causes of fresh produce wastage. So the three causes are so highly perishable. Highly perishable might sound good on a WR, but it might not be good for an audience who does not know the WR at all. So you might want to change it to something that's easier to understand. So in this case, will be short shelf life. Okay, so you type one, cause cause number one, short shelf life. Railway and we bought it. Okay, so that's number one. And then number two. Okay, so we have one, two, three. Done. Just so that we don't forget, let's bring in the menu bar, copy. Okay, paste. Okay, since we are on causes and consequences, so we will highlight causes and consequences, bold it, and make it red. Okay and you're done. So finally, now it's time to add the images into these three circles. So you have to be a bit creative here. One way is to get pictures from the WR, but in case your WR doesn't have images with regards to these three causes, then you have to find them online. So short shelf life, you want to show fruits which are rotting, right? So I will type fruits rotting. Ooh, okay, very disgusting. Let's choose one image here. Okay, this one looks really disgusting. Download for free. Okay. Then next, uh, cosmetic filtering. So cosmetic filtering is about, you know, being choosy when you choose the fo the fruits. So let's find a picture of choosing fruit. Aha, see this old granny here, choosing fruit. So let's download this old granny. And finally, marketing strategies. So marketing strategies, it's about showing which fruits first in the supermarket and hiding the ugly fruits last. So let's show a supermarket that sells fruits and vegetables. Supermarket. Okay, and scroll down. Ah, there we go. Okay, easy peasy. Okay, now it's to import the three images into the slides. Okay, so this is number one, this is number two, and this is number three. All right, so let me show you a tip on how do you get perfect circle crops. So first, let's put the image to be on the same size as the first circle. All right, so it's the same height, doesn't have to be the same width. Okay, next, we will put the image such that it covers the circle. Okay, so then we click crop shape circle now it's an oval really ugly so click on the crop button again then we select the border and move it all the way to the left until it squeezes like this small the oval here okay now you can see the border of the circle in the background right so select the frame again and move it until it snaps onto the circular border do the same for the left side move it all the way to the extreme find the border and move the frame back until it matches the border. And there you have a perfect circle. Wow, what a cheat code. So now let's do the same thing. Okay. So now we have the three circles. Well, uh, we just want to make sure that we hide this gray circles at the background that you saw earlier, right? So select all three, control X so that they disappear, but you can bring them back, don't worry. Okay, delete, press delete, delete, and delete. Then you control V to bring them back to life. And you are done. This is the mini content page for your causes of RWP segment. So now let's do the rest of the slides where we elaborate on the first uh, cause, which is short shelf life. So first thing we do is to put the script on the left and then put the slides on the right. So the first thing is we are going to introduce the first cause, which is short shelf life. 
that will be for this particular line here. So we will copy paste. Okay. And then we are going to change the transparency of these two images. So click on these two images, click on format options, click on adjustment and increase the transparency to 70. You see, now it looks faded. Okay, select the title for these two photos. Okay, and we are going to change the color to gray. Ta-da! So now the emphasis is on this and this. So then we have to explain, right? So their short shelf lives mean that they must be consumed or refrigerated immediately after purchase. So this is an elaboration of the first course, right? So I will need a new slide here. Okay, I don't need this title. What I need is this image here. Okay, we'll put it on the left. So this becomes like the subtitle, right? Okay, and then I'm going to combine this together. Cause one short shelf life. And move this on top. There we go. And this is the title. If you want to make it bigger, go ahead. Let's delete these two. Now we can add any content here in order to support you when you present this part of the script. So they must be consumed or refrigerated immediately after purchase. So you want to showcase how fruits and vegetables must be refrigerated in the refrigerator. So I'm going to search for fruit stored on the fridge and put, and put the image here. Okay. So usually if you want to make the pictures more sleek, what you do is you select mask and select this one. Okay, so you can see now you have rounded edges, make it more sleek. You can, if you see this yellow diamond here, you can adjust the roundedness of the rectangle. Okay, so this will easily match with the idea that fruits must be refrigerated immediately after purchase. Then the next slide, we have to talk, we have to showcase how some consumers may forget or they might store them wrongly. It will spoil them and making them unsuitable for consumption. So we have to find another image to showcase how the fruits and vegetables are not stored properly. So let's copy paste this slide. So the idea is to show the compare and contrast, right? So we want to show how fruits are stored properly versus how fruits are not stored properly. So I'm going to find an image where the fruits are not stored properly. Okay, and we have the image of the fruits not stored properly, something like this. Let's do the same thing, crop. So I also want to use text box to showcase how this is properly stored and how the other one is improperly stored. So I'm going to use the text box below. Proper storage. And the other one. And just for consistency, I want the proper storage to appear here as well. So, uh, okay, wait, uh, let's bold it first so that people can, that the audience can see. Select, copy, let's delete this and paste this instead. And we put this at the same position as here. So that way, when we present, we will talk about how the fruits are stored properly. And then when your clicker click next, then it will showcase how fruits are improperly stored. So then you have the compare and contrast. If you want to make the compare contrast even stronger, what you can do is, so proper storage, we can use a green uh, border. Because green, you know, when green light, you go red light, you stop. Red usually represents danger. So let's do the same thing, right? So in proper storage, let's use red. And proper storage, let's use dark green so that the audience can see. And let's use the same image in the previous slide. And there you go. So when we present proper storage, there's a green border. Improper storage is a red border. So you can clearly see the contrast between the two. So this is how you create slides for your content. So first you talk about the three causes of fresh produce wastage. Then you zoom into the first cause, which is short shelf life. Then you elaborate on how people have to store fruits and vegetables properly, but most of them don't, and that's why they turn bad. So all you have to do is to repeat this process again and again for cause number two and cause number three until it looks 
like this. Okay, and there you go. Now you try. All the best.